Hello, I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you Happy Mail from a beautiful couple. So this is Happy Mail from my sister. They're subscribers. And I do have a few husband and wives that watch me. They have reached out and said how my channel has inspired them and helped them. So this is, it says, please enjoy from my sister, but it has her husband's name. So I'm going to say sister and brother in Christ, Greg and Julie. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these amazing goodies. Okay, so um, right here, it's, I don't believe it was anything personal. It was just given some information. I do want to share something really, really quick. I thought was really cool. This shows you that they watch my channel. Like they know I like putting ribbons in my Bibles. So I like doing that. And then there was another part that says right here. Uh, oh, not the inks. But they, they were telling me um, these pens right here. They weren't for sure if I had them. I don't. So I'm obviously a pen collector. You can see a little bit of my collection right there. So I don't have these. I'm super excited about them. They are Bible related, but they're not supposed to be for the Bible that they sent me. So I thought that was, that was kind of cute. And after I seen the Bible, I'm like, Oh, okay. I understand why. All right. So let me show you the ISBN number for these. And there is a color code. You can follow this if you wanted to. Um, I already have my color code down. So I will not change it. Um, I will say the best for last. They did give me two helpful. Let me raise this up here a little bit. Old and new. Now this is the Hebrew English inter, interlinear um, ESV Old Testament. And then this is the Greek. So this is the New Testament. This is the Old Testament. Now what this is. I can come back and do like maybe a deep, a deeper dive, maybe a review even over them both because this is something that is, I haven't went through it fully yet because I've been extremely busy and I want to know what it's about. But look at this, just a real quick peek. I will come back and talk about it because I, this is, they definitely, these are tools you all have to have in your collection. Looking at it, I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know anything about Greek. The other one will be Hebrew because it is Old Testament, but this is the New Testament, so it's Greek. Um, I don't know anything about it. Again, I will come back at a later date, share both of these, and give you a little bit more information. Both of these are from Crossway, so if you just want to go get them right now, many of you may already have them in your collection. So I'm extremely excited to get into them, but of course, come back and share what they are about. Anything that's going to help me grow on my spiritual walk, um, AIDS, I really, really, really appreciate you guys letting me know, but more, I guess, special is when you guys just send them to me. You send them to me for my own personal use, but you also send them to me so I'm able to review it and then share it with the world. So they also know, one, what it is, what it looks like, not just the cover or the back of it. And then two, come in and I will show how to use it. So that's something I like doing differently on my channel that a lot of other channels that review things don't do. All right, this is the next best thing that they have sent me. If you look at my wall, I love butterflies. There's just something beautiful about butterflies. So they were amazing and they had these, I I don't know where they had them at because I, yeah, I don't know, but they obviously had them. Um, it's a collection of four. These are real, very vintage, vintage butterflies. Look at this in a beautiful, and the camera does not do it any justice in a beautiful shadow box. You could kind of see how, how it's a little fuzzy. Look at that. That is stunning. And then what's cool is on the back. Look, it gives you more information about it. This was the only one 
that actually lets, uh, gave you the name and it also told you the sex of it. But the year, 1974. What? That's why I said vintage. And I've never seen anything like what I'm about to show you when it comes to these. This is the other big one. This one is really, really, really fuzzy. I like the black and white looking dots. It looks like it has eyes, so it looks for a predator, like it's bigger than what it would be. It looks like it has sticks. Oh, so gorgeous. On the back of this one, it just gives you the origin on where it's from. All right, had somebody at the door. Now this one and the next one, these ones are so cool. They're all are very special in their own way, but you can just look at this one. It looks like it has fairy wings. That is stunning to me. And then this one was founded in Peru, just like the first one. It would be magical to see these guys just flying around like a whole group of them oh wow and the same peru so i thought that was extremely extremely special i am going to add them to my wall they are going to be placed oh you can't really tell so i have this big picture right here i'm going to put a big one and a big one over here and one on each side and then the two little ones will go outside of that and then I'll add more butterflies around it so the whole wall is going to be filled up with butterflies so thank you thank you thank you so much Greg and Julie you two are very very special thank you for thinking of me most importantly to send these two um, I'm sure you could have left them to family but I really, 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 really appreciate it. You just sending them to me. I will always cherish them and of course, take very, very, very good care of them. Lastly, we're going to look at this amazing Bible. The same thing with the Bible. Will not have any pin marks. I know you said it was okay if I changed the ribbons, but I kind of like this ribbon. This ribbon is something special. So I, if I ever did anything, I will add ribbons to wear like I do to my Bibles so I don't ever mess with the binding because I don't like weakening the spine but I have it on a little card to where I could just slip it in so I would use a little card technique and add by uh, ribbons but I, I really like this one and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay coming on in so this is genuine leather. It has tooling and a semi. Well, it's kind of like a semi app. It definitely is semi app for Holman because Holman don't do no semi app. So this is what's so amazing about the Bible. We have tooling for the hubs, and there's two, four, five hubs. Holy Bible KJV from Holman. Never seen a KJV from Holman. I've only ever heard of HCSB and CSB, so oh, amazing, amazing to see a KJB. So it does have a synthetic liner. I couldn't really find on both front and back. It has gold gilding. Now the gilding for how old some of the dates are in here, I don't, there is no copyright date. So I don't know when it was actually printed, but from how old some of the dates are this is really 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 old and this gilding is amazing like I, I've never seen gilding like that on this like perfect gilding on this old of a Bible so it's been very very well taken care of and I will continue to make sure it takes it's very well continue to be taken care of all right there's a beautiful poem and you are 100% right, I can relate to it. I am also gonna write out this poem in another, my Cuddle Bible, because I travel with it, I take it with me. It's just a beautiful poem, so if you wanna pause it, write it out for yourself, 
go ahead and feel free to do it. And this just talks about the Holman Bible and what their goal was. So look at these dates. These are like old dates, you all. So I'm assuming it's around that time that this Bible was um, created or printed out. They did go ahead and mark in the presentation page, which I really, really, really love. And the pages up here, they're different. I've never seen any layout like this. The blue and the red, like that's, that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So this is, this is certified too in holy matrimony. So probably when you get married. So it's like a family Bible and marriages. The, the deaths and a couple of blank pages. Now this is the information that I can find. KJV, never seen that, but right down here. So it is a first edition new plates. And it is in an eight point, I don't know if it's eight point font, oh yeah. And then it's even tinier references because it does say eight VO references. So maybe just a reference Bible is what it's saying. The paper you all on vintage Bible, there's just something special about their paper. It's smooth. It's wonderful. I really, really, really like it. So it is a two column format. And at the beginning of every chapter, you know how every chapter in other Bibles will have like a header. It will give you a small sentence over like uh, this right here is the beginning so it just say like the beginning the creation something like that this tells you if we look at verse 1 it tells you what verse 1 is verse 3 it tells you what verse 3 is verse 9 I've never seen something like that that is cool they should do that more often we do have a timeline so where we're at on this particular page center column references it is a two column format and for this vintage of a Bible, the wording, you all, this is amazing to see this clear of a printing. They did say it was a fresh first edition, so it could be because of that. But the printing's nice and evenly dark. If I wanted to circle the word God, I'm not going to mark up the top sentence, the bottom sentence. Like this is beautiful so I can sit right here as of today even though I'm used to the modern translations and I can read from this Bible with no problem I would have no problem I wouldn't be taking um I wouldn't be settling like oh, okay well it has a lot of ghosting so I'm just gonna have to settle with the ghosting or really really poor paper I wouldn't have to settle for nothing because it has everything in it that the modern translations have right now. What? And then here, up on top, they still have the headers. So instead of the headers being right here, they just have it on at the top of the page with extra helpful information. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so this ribbon, the infamous ribbon. Look at this. It says a Holman Bible what that is too cute i like it i it, it is old i mean it you it there is some use in it but it is it gives the bible the overall character it's a holman bible they put holman on the ribbon that's just a special touch i've never seen anything like that so i am not going to remove it that's going to stay right there i really really love that okay coming on through they do have some extra helps so this is the index so for the old testament i thought it was for the new testament at first sorry my ac turned off i was trying not to get it to do that <laughs> i catch myself screaming over it and then when it turns off i have to adjust myself here's another date this is 1935 but it has um the uh popular verses from the old no this is from the new testament and it is genesis okay popular verses from the new testament that they felt would better 
correlate with what they're pointing to. So the creation, these are top events. So if you're trying to witness to somebody, um, maybe somebody has some questions over something, you can quickly look through here and then find it, the spot throughout the, the Bible. So this is the Old Testament and they do have the events towards the back here for also the New Testament. So it's the same layout for the old and the new. And then we're gonna come into the New Testament right here. That's the font, the large, and I'm not even gonna to try to say that because I will butcher it, but it's the large and then that's the font design. Holman with a KJV, a King James translation. Now I've seen everything. I've never heard of any, I've never heard of it. I was so surprised when I seen the translation. Okay, it is a black letter text, so there is no, um, no red letter. Like I said, the font print itself, a lot of times when you get vintage Bible, it's really, really iffy. One page will be bold, one page will be super light. There will be mishaps in a lot of um, printing. Sometimes letters will overlap one another. So that's that's typically what you will see in a vintage Bible. I have a collection of vintage Bibles right now. A lot of you know I like vintage Bibles, so I should come back and do a um, collection, like all vintage Bible collection, and then do a little bit of comparison of those. Right here, I have the another another date so from all these dates you can kind of kind of see how old the bible is i don't know for sure but you kind of see it from there then in the back you get some very helpful information it also has how to study so it was literally taking you bit by bit on how you're going to study a practical practical course in the bible reading and it takes you through a system here so through the whole testament is taking you through not every book, but a, I guess how they viewed popular books, maybe. I don't know how they picked that system, but they did the same thing for the New Testament, too. Then there's an article. This article will have quite a few images over it. I really like when they have that. It reminds me of the Thompson chain. The TCR also has this. I've heard they've taken out a lot of this in the new TCR and I'm very, very disappointed. It's really important to keep the Bibles, especially the history of the Bible, all intact. That's just my opinion. Um, but okay, so yeah, there's a lot of information back here, as you can tell. Treasury, we all know what that is like. The money, we all know the timelines. Those are typically the same. And then this is the Bible Dictionary, two column Bible Dictionary. And then lastly, back here, we have a three column concordance, very thick three column concordance. This is a very, very, very good concordance. Now, the very end of it, my very, very favorite. Oh, wait, there was something else. Oh yeah, these were questions. They have I don't know if they give you how many questions, but 4,000 questions and answers. So if you have any question, there's 4,000s of them. They have answers back here. I thought that was pretty cool. 4,000 questions and answers. And then we have the map index. These maps are my absolute favorite. I love vintage looking maps, but whenever the maps have the latitude and longitude around them, Love it. That's how my dad taught me how to read maps. So whenever I see that, that, that just reminds me of, oh, remember when he taught you how you're supposed to be reading the maps. But you've seen the eight, the dates. All Any date that I've seen in this Bible, I try to share it. This is 1914, and it says A.J. A. J., a. J. Holman. So this is 1914. This, so it's a pretty old map. The printing... Is amazing even though like there's a bunch of little cities and towns and all crammed in together you can still read it and it looks like it's off of a globe so if you grew up with those circle globes that you could just spin around it looks like it's a snapshot 
or a piece of it. It's just, it's super cool. I love vintage maps. And then the paper, let me tell you about the paper. It is Bible paper. <laughs> a lot of people will love this Bible paper. It doesn't give the back Bible support at all because it's just Bible paper, but hey, it's, it's beautiful. Love it. So there were 12 maps in total. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Greg and Julie again. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As soon as I get the beautiful butterflies up, I will make sure to go ahead and take a picture of it, take a snapshot, and I will share it. So you guys will be able to see how they are being housed and where they will be living at for the duration of their, their lives. Okay, remember, be a creative tool in our father's art box. I will talk to you all later. Bye.